John Federico with On Digital Media here at the Startup One Stop event at Connolly's Irish Pub mm -hmm. in New York City. Uh, and uh, we're doing on the spot interviews with entrepreneurs uh, and investors uh, and all related types uh, here at this event. Yes. And joining me now, and I'm going to take the business card out to make sure it's right, is Terry Rogers, the CEO and editorial director of BrickUnderground.com. So, Terry, Tell me a bit about Brick Underground, um, at, you know, what the site, what it is, what the business is, how it works, and um, and how you got the impetus to give it to give it a go. Okay, well, a long time ago, like two years ago, well, a year and a half ago, I used to be a real estate contributor to the New York Times. <laughs> so I wrote like 60 cover stories for the Times real estate section and wow. couldn't get to the bottom of what I wanted to get to the bottom to because the Times has these very strict rules about anonymous sources. Um, and what I really wanted was a water cooler for all of the issues that New York City apartment apartment dwellers and apartment seekers face. So, Brick Underground is a website about vertical living in New York City. Well, uh, it's catchy. I like that. I like that. Vertical living. So, I have not been, I have not done the vertical living thing in, in, in quite a while. So, okay. what are some of those issues? I'm sorry. Uh, well, so, uh, <laughs> obviously, finding the apartment. So, how to find a no-fee apartment if you're renting. Sure. How to pass the, the co-op board. We have this great series called My Big Fat Board Interview, which is anonymous first-person tales okay. about okay. the process. Um, and just everything that comes afterwards. The bed bugs, the secondhand smoke the renovation, holiday Ooh. tipping, that's a huge issue. Okay. Um, how much do you give the super? How much do you give a bad super? How much do you give the super? It depends if they're good or bad, but, but the, the super is at the top of the tipping pool. You've got to take care of the super and okay. then work your way down. Good to know. I mean, I, I live in a house in the suburbs, so I am the super and I don't get any tips, but that's okay. Is that, <laughs> I'll have to speak to your wife. All right. Okay. Uh, so you, uh, so it's, it's at, by the way, it's, it's brickunderground.com. Mm -hmm. So how does the site work then? Is it, uh, is it more, um, uh, your title is, of course, CEO and editorial director, Correct. so it's, it's a content site or is it more uh, uh, tips and tricks shared by uh, by contributors or, and, and It's and not members. so much user generated at this point, but we do have a ton of first person content. Okay. So we have an anonymous doorman blogger. Um, we have a whole series <laughs> called Inside Stories. So it's everything from my um, my new construction nightmare um, to uh, I don't know my well, there's one about a, a Polish housekeeper like dominating <laughs> this family's life <laughs> and how they got okay. out from under her thumb. But just everything that comes up in um, in the New York City vertical dwelling experience. Interesting. So if I wanted to be a contributor, can I just Absolutely. head on over there? Absolutely. In fact, I find a lot of my contributors at places like this. So we just start talking about real estate, and they've got some crazy story, and I say, okay, I'm calling you tomorrow, and I'm going to drag that out of you, and we don't have to use your name. And it's fantastic. It's like another another series that we're doing is living next to a blank, and the idea is to um, get all, like living next to a gas station, living next to a Whole Foods. Oh, sure. What is it like? Um, what are the pros and what are the cons? And those are the kinds of things that you don't necessarily think about when you move in, but they're very important after you do. Very interesting. So you've yeah. been, this has been, the site's been around, what, a couple of years? Two years now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bootstrap so far. Good for you. Yeah. I love that little badge of honor. Paying our way. Excellent. With direct advertising. Excellent. Yeah. And are you looking to expand it, or are you comfortable now just taking it, you know, staying the course and that, that you're on We're right still now? figuring things out. I mean, right now we're a 100% content site. Mm -hmm. um, I've got some other ideas in the works. We'd like to get some seed funding within the next year or so. And the big plan is to be in other vertical dwelling cities as well, to have a network of these sites. Oh, right, because you're focused for strictly on New right York now right it's now. Right New York. We're testing out. Even though yeah. many of these things could translate, it is very, I could see it to be geographic, you know, specific. Right. Right. Okay. Interesting. So then, would you would you build those out yourself? Do you think, or might you take on partners in other cities? Uh, part well, partners certainly <laughs> certainly need more money, more advertising. Sure, sure. That sort of thing, right? Yeah. But you need people on the ground in the other cities to supplement the content and make it local. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And so, where can where can people find it? Uh, the site. The site. Brickunderground.com. Oh, that's it. I that's saw that. I saw an yeah. NY here, and I was just checking. Uh, okay. No, we just kind of threw that out as like foreshadowing that we have bigger plans than than. You, I understand. But, Excellent. Uh, yes. And where can people learn more about you? Are you on the Twitters and and the? Uh, I'm on the Twitter and, and the Facebook. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. And it, uh, as it's spelled, Terry Rogers. Um, Terry Rogers. Well, let's see. Uh, the best place to learn to be LinkedIn, probably. We'll LinkedIn. Where you need to go, Terry. Terry Rogers on LinkedIn. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you, Terry. I appreciate you uh, joining you. us tonight, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, this is uh, John Federico for On Digital Media at the Startup One Stop event here in New York City.